so I just came to another location. It's called Samson's Barbershop. I actually like the foot traffic in this area. There's a whole lot of businesses where there's lots and lots and lots of foot traffic. Looks like there's plenty of parking. It's a nice area, middle to upper class type of individuals, working class. So I really like what I'm seeing so far, y'all. There's some upper scale clubs, middle to upper scale restaurants. Just seems like a really nice environment. So I'm here in Kalamazoo at another potential barbershop and there are quite a few, looks like fairly busy businesses in this area and the immediate income is about 66,000, which is the highest I've found in this area. Actually, this is Portage, Michigan. Kalamazoo's median income is 55,000. Portage's average median income is 66,000. There is an elementary school about three miles from here that is rated at a nine, Moores Bridge Elementary School. So this is probably the best area I've found thus far. So. Let me know what you guys think. Well, today is a very important step in my process to establish um, a great foundation. It is May 3rd, 10, 11 a.m. and I am getting a haircut from the gentleman that owns the shop that I could potentially end up working at. I'll be visiting um, a barbershop in Portage, that's the actual name of it, and possibly a couple others, but it's a big day. Here's hoping that today is an opportunity to step foot into shops and position myself for success and uh, to fulfill the dreams that I have in my heart, which is to add quality to someone's life. Here we go. So I met with owners of two different shops. I visited three shops, but the owner of the third shop wasn't there. And I left my business card with the owner of the third shop. But the first two shops I actually had appointments with and I met with them and uh, it went well. Both shops act like they really want me to work there. I think I will probably go with uh, my first choice, which is uh, Samson's Barbershop. Um, I like what they had to offer because um, stay in the middle lane. There's just a lot that we have in common as far as being like-minded. Um, plus, I love the fact that the area, the downtown Kalamazoo area, is growing like up because they just built a huge apartment building, um, maybe three blocks from the barber shop. So that's a lot of potential new clientele, but the area of downtown Kalamazoo is just buzzing and it's not far from the college. It's just uh, uh, Western Michigan University that is. It's just, just I think that's probably a good fit. The other barber shop that I visited today, uh, it's called A Barber Shop. Uh, there were two older gentlemen, uh, Jeff and Mike, and an older lady, Lori, who was also a barber really really nice people but they said that out of the gate it would probably be difficult for me to build a clientele there at least you know right away it, it would it would take some time and they would help me if they could but they didn't have high hopes that I would be able to earn the kind of money that I would probably life, want starting out at their shop. So I'm probably going to go with Samson's Barbershop. I really liked Jeff and Mike and Lori. They were really welcoming. I could tell that they wanted me there, but I just think that Samson's is probably a better fit. I'm supposed to meet with the owners of Samson's uh, tomorrow, Adam, Muncie, and Jake. Turn right. So I'm looking forward to that. Today has been a productive day. I just came from Tavani Salon. I heard from a young lady at Salon Centric that Tavani Salon could potentially be hiring a barber. So I stopped by there, dropped off a business card. And I also met with Adam and Jake from Samson's Barbershop. The meeting went really, really well. Um, that's probably where I wanna be, but they are going to deliberate and let me know but I'm pretty sure working at Samson's Barbershop is going to be the best option for me. If not, I do have a couple other options. This is my journey to being a six-figure barber, and 
and uh, I'm hoping to get to that point hopefully within 11 months I'll be making five figures a month I just have to follow Chris Basio's plan I think that he has mapped it out very well it's just a matter of me positioning myself properly and having a good team to work with I'm excited I have some incredible news after learning through Basio's module one, how to choose a barber shop to work at. I did my research. I found a shop. The area where the shop is that I'm gonna be working at is growing. And I remember how important Basio said it was to have an area that is growing, thriving, attractive to the younger crowds. It's not too far from colleges. It's right in the middle of high everyday money spending type of foot traffic. The places where people can afford to eat out at every day. However, it's middle to upper scale. So it's in an area where a lot of money is being spent. I'm just really looking forward to it. I start Monday morning at 8.30 a.m. And uh, I'm just excited, man. If anybody has any suggestions about, you know, how to handle my pricing and things of that nature, they are making it mandatory that I start no less than $30 a haircut. However, once I am fully booked, I'll be able to raise my prices to whatever I want. I'm excited, man, and I just wanted to share this with y'all because we on this journey together. May you all just have a blessed day. Well, here it is, the shop that I will probably be working at for the next two years. We've already talked about plans of opening up a new spot. Oh man, I'm so excited to get this journey started. And I'm so glad I'm in this area. I mean, like, people are building in this area. There's a luxury apartment building that was just built right up the street. Right next door, there's Green Top Tavern, established in 1924. There's Green Street Market and Design. There are people moving into businesses in this area. It's growing. I don't think I could have hoped for a better shop in this. I'm so excited. When you have the information necessary to position yourself for success, it gives you unparalleled hope. I hope everybody is having as good a Monday as I am, but I don't know if that's possible. It's a beautiful day in downtown Kalamazoo. I just got done eating at La Familia and I'm headed back to work at Samson's Barbershop. Man, I love living in a, in a, in a city where it's just growing. I'm loving downtown Kalamazoo. Happy Monday, y'all. Well, it is Monday, May 16th and I have had my first full complete week at Samson's Barbershop and it has been nothing short of mind blowing. I made over $1,500. I have incredible coworkers. Downtown Kalamazoo is just, oh my goodness. I cannot, I cannot fully express how grateful I am. It, it's just an opportunity, the people, it's beautiful. So I hope that everyone has an incredible week. I expect to have another great week serving the greater Kalamazoo and Battle Creek surrounding areas in the tonsorial department. And I am here simply to say thank you to Chris Basio, Adam Muncy, and Jake Hamlet. First of all, I want to say to Mr. Basio, I am so grateful for Tomb 45. For 23 years, I've worked as a barber from 1999 to this very day. And up until I came across Mr. Basio's Tomb 45 Academy, I did not understand how to charge according to my value. I did not understand how to look at the metrics to find a good barbershop. I did not understand what it was like to be fully booked. There are reasonable hours that people work from nine to five. And if people demand your time before or after that time, you should charge more. I never understood that. Never was it even a conversation. Thanks to Mr. Basio, I have the foundation, the outlook, and the understanding on how to become a six figure bar. I never even came close to 100,000 cutting hair. I think the most I ever made was somewhere around $60,000. Working five in the morning till nine, 10, 11 o'clock at night, six days a week. But now that I understand how to charge according to my value, how to look for a barbershop, there is no limit. 
I'm so excited about my future. I, I, I can barely contain myself. Today I got to work probably about 40, 45, 50 minutes early and I just walked around the city. I couldn't wait to see all the businesses that are around here and all the foot traffic. If you are a struggling barber or a struggling beautician, I highly recommend with my whole heart, you become a part of the Tomb 45 Academy. Get on Google, type in tomb45academy.com and you'll be able to sign up. We meet once a week. It'll be a very small group so that all of you can meet face to face with Chris Basio. He'll tell you, you know, certain key things that you need to know and emphasize certain certain things that you need to study. But the most important thing is the access to the information. He has what appears to me like a collegiate curriculum so that you can track your numbers, you can pick a barbershop or a beauty salon to work at, you can choose a healthy environment to work in. You can have hope. <laughs> you can make almost as much as you want. Even if you're just a decent average barber or beautician, as long as you're consistent and you do what Mr. Basio teaches you, you'll land on your feet. And then there's Jake and Adam, two young men who are more than a decade younger than me, but who are extremely intelligent, cutting edge, hardworking family men who care about their community. I cannot tell you how honored I am to be on this journey with you. I look forward to everything that comes our way, good and bad, because I know working with you, Jim, we can turn everything that looks bad into something beautiful. So thank you for allowing me to work in your beautiful shop here at 254 East Michigan Avenue. Thank you for allowing me to create my own schedule as, and work as many hours as I like. By the way, I will be here 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. I'm just grateful, y'all. When you have the information to help you be successful, if you fail, it's your fault. If you get burned out, it's your fault. I got burned out because I didn't have the information and that was my fault. But now that I have the information from the Tomb 45 Academy that Chris Basio and his team put together, <laughs> if I fail, it's my fault. Surround yourself with people who can help you be the best version of yourself. And that's what I came on here to share with everyone today. I have connected with people who know what they're doing, know who they are and know where they're going. And I am so grateful. Last one to go. Samson's hair care. Love what I do.